the baddest uh, military unit in the wilderness of North America is <clears throat> the FOI and the MGT. When we drill in the FOI, when they throw out a command, <clears throat> when we're marching, we're drilling, <clears throat> And they throw out a command, they say, left face or right face. Well, on the word left or right, before we turn our whole bodies, we turn our head to see. See, that's called looking ahead, you know. Or looking before you leap, before you move. So let me show it, illustrate it to you. If, a, if the commanding officer say, lift, but he don't say face, we don't turn. We just turn our heads to see what we're getting into. If he say right, we don't turn. But if he say right, face, that's when we turn our whole body, see. Now that's that's uh intelligence. You know. Lift. Peace. You see what I'm saying? So uh these young brothers now, man, they may have combat training, but they don't have military training. You know, see, they don't use no foresight or no or no strategy. I ain't talking about the FOI because the FOI are well trained. They're trained to be leaders. You know, not just leaders, but leaders with wisdom, intelligence, and understanding. Now, this is a message to. Uh, I'm going to give a message to the young brother, Pharaoh. Show you where you're not so wise at, man. Now, you may be, you know, intelligent as far as uh, your scholastic and uh, other type training, you know, uh, other scholastic and uh, scholarship. You know, but you don't have no control over your emotions, man. You know, and uh, a civilized, a civilized person, you know, he, he, uh, acts in a civilized manner. And if you're uncivilized, you know, just because you got intelligent, like the like the like the devil got intelligence, but he's uncivilized. You know, he acts according to his nature, you know. Uh his nature is unrighteousness. And uh in the FOI, you are trained to be righteous, you know, and exact on every move you make. So, uh, when you uh, go over to a worldwide medium, media like uh, YouTube, and you make uh, accusations and, and threats and homosexual uh, requests. 
you know, you are acting uncivilized, you know, and with no wisdom. So all that scholarship goes out the window. All that uh, scholastic education that you have goes out the window. So you're not in the leadership, you're not being a leadership, a leader, you know, that's bad, that's a bad uh, leadership skills, you know, you, you putting yourself out there on front street, man, you leaving the door open for your enemy to come in and do something to you because you're making idle threats. And uh, they could do something to you and blame it on on somebody else that was making the same type threats. So you're putting yourself out on front street. We used to call it, you, you, you're walking around you with your ass out. Your ass is out. So I'm just giving you some counseling, brother. Some elderly counseling and some uh, words of wisdom. You know, it's the duty of a civilized man to teach the uncivilized. It's best in the face of your enemy, because we all got the same common enemy, you know, which is the, the devil. And he ain't changed his he ain't changed his spots now. He's still doing up to his old tactics, doing what he been doing, dividing and conquer. You know. He don't have to be nowhere around you. Cause we you program now to to destroy each other, destroy yourself. You know. Over either Money or viewership, you know. So, either you are agent trying to disunite the people, or either you just unintelligent that way. You unintel you are intelligent in other ways, you know, like. Uh, some of your science theories, scientific theories, might be on point, but as far as, far as your your uh, martial arts, you know, see everything starts with the mind, man. Your mind is over matter. Your mind is over emotions into the thinking of God. You're not a God until you put your emotions in check. You got to be cool and calm and collective, man, even when, you, when you're in your martial arts state. You can't get mad when you're fighting, you know. Because let me tell you, man, when, when, you, when you get angry when you fight, get mad, uh, even your punches don't have the strength on it, you know, your strikes don't have strength, Im impact, your strikes don't even have impact, you know, uh, so you got to stay, stay calm and collective, man, or either that, or either, I mean, if ain't nobody taught you that, even though you've been in the penitentiary, and you may came out of that all right, but the way you acting, man, you know, like, you setting yourself up to either go back or either get took out. Or if one of the, if one of the persons that you're addressing get took out, that's going to lead to an investigation. Because, you know, you was angry. You didn't seen enough, you didn't seen enough uh, Matt Lock and and Perry Mason movies, man, know not to to uh, 
insinuate anything, you know, insinuate anything over a medium, worldwide medium like uh, the internet. Now, either you're doing that on purpose, or for show, or you're just unintelligent like that. And any general that loses his cool over a national media, you know, just come on un unhinged. I don't care, ain't nothing about the frequency of your voice, man, to uh, show if you sincere or not. It's like I say, man, you know, uh, I know my old man, he taught me, man, you know, like, he don't let you know when he gonna strike or let you know what he gonna do, you know. He don't have nothing to say. He don't argue, stand up there and argue with nobody, you know. He say what he gonna say and that's it. Next thing you know, you know, if, uh, you make a move towards him, you know, you out of there. You never the aggressor. You know, when you're aggressive in your actions, you know, that's never cool, man. You got to never be the aggressor. The first thing in martial arts is you take a person's force against you and redirect their force against themselves. This is Black Light Out.